Hello there folks, welcome back to the very final episode of this tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at organising your clips and organising your mobile phone ready to edit. And I'm going to talk to you about the different types of editing that you can go through to edit your clips together to then upload them to share them around. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The way in which Worth It in particular takes its footage from the phones and edits them is we use Google Drive. Now Google Drive we have storage access so we upload all of our clips from the mobile to the Google Drive space that we have shared. We then download the clips onto our laptops and we edit them using editing software. Now there are various editing software that you can own, have or download for free that you can use. So there's Windows Movie Maker, which is quite a really good free option. There is uh, iMovie on the, actual, on the MacBooks and Apple software. There is then of course also DaVinci Resolve, which is a little bit more professional, but it's also a really useful tool that you can use, which is also free to use. And also of course, if you want to do pay money or you do already pay money for the Adobe Creative Cloud, then there is the Adobe editing software that you can use to Premiere Pro. And added to that, if you are an absolute whiz and you know plenty about editing and you've edited for a very long time and you have access or a copy of Avid Media Composer or Final Cut Pro X, then you can use either of them too to edit your footage that you've uploaded to your Google Drive. So you download the MP4, edit the clips and then upload them again to whatever social media output you want to upload to, whether that be Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, where it needs to be YouTube or whether it needs to be anywhere to share, then that will give you the ability to edit and render and upload. Now there are other ways in which you can do it if you don't have access to a decent enough computer to edit your software or you don't know how to, there is ways and means you can do it via the phone and there's some really good editing apps that you can download to your mobile device to edit your software and that will allow you to open your clips onto your phone you can load them up on the screen and then you can upload from your mobile without having to worry there is also youtube editor as well if you're uploading specifically videos to youtube yourself you can use the youtube edit tool to edit your content there so it saves you having to do any of the process too please bear in mind though that it will take quite a lot of battery power to run. And also bear in mind too, that the upload time can be quite a while, so it will require your phone to still be switched on, still be unlocked. Now, something else that I need to remind you too, is once you've finished with your project and the video is made, don't forget to delete the old clips that you have recorded originally. Unless you wanna use them in a later video, I really highly recommend you do that. Clears up some space, make sure you can go back out there again next time and make brand new films. So if you've followed along with this series and you've got all your clips together, you're ready to edit, go for it, go and edit. Check out some other tutorials on how to best edit your clips. Uh, we've shown over the past couple of series episodes how uh, we've edited our clips together and you can see the B-roll sequences edited on a computer. Now it's your turn, guys, so make sure you go and have a go. Have a go, make your stuff, upload it. If you want to, use the hashtag TeamWorthIt and we will take a look at all of the projects that you have made with that content. So guys, without further ado, thank you so much for watching this tutorial series. We'll be coming back at you again next week with another episode on Tuesday with a brand new tutorial. And make sure you don't forget to subscribe for more content because we are uploading almost daily with our content onto our social media pages. We're also uploading very regularly to YouTube as well. We do content such as podcasts, we do content such as short films, behind the scenes content, telling you how we make films. We aren't experts ourselves, but we do make films, we do learn every single time, and we love to share what we've learned with you, like we shared the mobile phone tutorial series. So yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in another show. Bye.